So today we were a little bit late. My internet that was not working properly. So that's why it got late. But that's okay. That happens sometime. So today we have topic that is voice modulation and I could not prepare the PDF at the right time. So that's why I could not pre uh, send the entire documents in the gross, but I have shared a few topics and uh, the introduction of voice modulation. Voice modulation chapter is big chapter. That's not a small chapter and that's really very important chapter and why we read or study or learn voice modulation when we need to bring naturality, clarity. That moment we need to bring some rules and regulations of voice modulation. And when we want to speak effectively, when we want to convey our messages to the audience, to the people, that moment this voice modulation chapter plays vital role. And you might have also understood or noticed that when I speak, I speak slowly, I don't speak fast, and I always try to bring some ups and downs. I put some stress on particular word which I want to emphasize. So that is the meaning of voice modulation, all right? So did you understand something about voice modulation? Am I audible? Am I clear to you all? My voice is clear. Internet connection, everything. Yes, that, voice yes. is clear. Is that, thank everything you. is clear. Yeah. That's great. Thank you, thank you. That's great, that's great. So let for, let wait for one minute only, right? So we can have some conversation, then we can start. Anybody wants to say something about the topic or anything else? Anybody? How topic? How topic? How topic? How's the topic? What is the topic? Right? Yes, yes. Got it? Wrong. Right? Okay, so topic okay. topic is voice modulation. We are just going to start within a within a seconds. Within a few seconds, we are going to start. Is it visible? The slide is visible. No, sir. Just uh, it we need more, too much time to visible here. No, no, no. I mean to say that I have shared the screen. Is it visible to you? Are yes, you sir. able to see English no, globally? No, no. Yeah, no. it is loading, loading. Uh, it's a blurring. Screen. Sorry, sir. I think yeah. your side have the network connection is low. My, I have internet connectivity problem. My voice no, is breaking. Not your no. voice is the clear coming, but uh, you're sharing the screen, but I cannot see. Screen you cannot see. Okay, just yeah. a minute. So I have few no. other options to share. Yeah, now is okay. Now is it okay? I have stopped. Yeah. I'm not sharing then. And you're watching? Okay. How yeah, that's now possible? Watching. How that's possible? I'm not sharing anything. Yeah. What are you watching? I'm sharing nothing no, n right now. Before, before, nothing. before, just, just, see nothing. Before. Huh? You I'm can thinking. see nothing. Okay, do you see nothing? Nothing. Your face, your handsome yeah. face. Now, do you see but anything? Why? Do you see yeah. anything? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now okay. it's clear. Yes. To all of them. It's a clear and yes. crystal. Yes. Good yes. luck. That's fine. Good. All the words are clear and everything is clear. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And how many people are there right now? 25 people. That's 25. Good. 25 participants are here. So that's sufficient people. people. Okay. So can you mute yourself? Yeah. Okay. Then we can go ahead. And that's a really very important chapter. So we need to pay attention on this. Just listen it carefully. Right. If you don't understand anything, you can say hello, sir, or excuse me. Right. Just say only excuse me. Then I would stop and I would listen your question. All right. Okay. Now that's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now moving to the slides. Is it being recorded or not? Right. That's being recorded. So Huang, you can also record it. Uh huh. So so we are going to the next slide. Okay, so there is an introduction of voice modulation. 
voice modulation is when you control or adjust your voice. The line is very clear when you adjust your control, right? The thing is that when you speak, many times you speak so fast, you speak in a simple or monotone, right? You don't have ups and downs. So that, and when you adjust it, means sometimes you bring ups, sometimes you bring down. So that's called the voice modulation. And why you do all these things? Because you want to convey your message. You want to put some stresses. You want to put some emphasis. You want to give some force so that others can understand you easily. That is the meaning of voice modulation. It's when you choose to go louder or softer, faster or slower, dramatically, dramatic, emotional, basically, right? Voice modulation means using your voice and tone to communicate your message more effectively. When you convey your messages, effectively or you want people should pay attention on you that moment you put stress you bring some ups and downs in your voice your sound your tone so that people can listen to you and pay attention on you they can understand easily and when you speak in a simple tone same tone and you speak continuously without any ups and downs without any emotion feelings that moment people would be getting some bore right they would not be paying more attention on you right so that's why we study we read voice modulation no right okay now we are going for another slides so few people are waiting please enter them three people are waiting okay so no voice modulation now moving to the next slides okay here uh, I've given one examples. By this example, you all can understand something about voice modulation. Read this as you would read anything. Now let's add some emphasis to it, right? So we need to put some stress. So I've written a few words on red in this three lines, right? And why we have written, please mute that guy who's creating some new noise. Mute them, any host. So I think that I've not made uh, more co-host. Let me make a few co-hosts so that they can control. If we have more co-hosts, they can control. So Azita could be just a minute. Uh, could be co-host. Okay, I did some. Uh, I was some late, so that's why I needed to uh, start early. Eduardo should be co-host. Okay, so you need you people need to please uh, mute people who is creating some noise. Jacker, right. Jacker must be co-host. Okay, now that's why. So we have got few co-host. So you all can control these things. Right. So the thing is that. So I've written one line here. And I have written a few lines uh, in the red and I have underlined that those words. So what the thing is that you need to put some stress, you need to put some force on these word. Why we are putting stress or force on these words? Because we want to convey our messages. We want to emphasize these words so that people would pay attention to understand these words. These words are really very important, right? So I would speak in that way. Let me talk you to let me talk to you about word that is overused, never quite understood, and most importantly, underrated. The word millennials, right? I'm putting some stress, and I'm speaking these words easily, comfortably. When I'm feeling comfortable, and I'm speaking these words, like let me talk you talk to you about a word that is overused. Never quite understood, and most importantly, underrated the word millennials. Did you get something? All right. So I'm putting some stresses on these words because these words are important. All right. So moving to the next slides. So that was the short introduction of the voice modulations. It's uh, examples you can say that you can understand. Okay, then silence. 
silence that doesn't mean you need to stop you need to be quiet you don't speak anything right the thing is that when you enter or the stage or in front of audience so that moment you need to take a long breath be silent let the audience be quiet and think about the topic which you are going to speak and then start speaking let the audience get time to think to understand what you are speaking many times when you speak for 5 or 10 minutes then give a long pause or become silent so that audience can get some time to think about what you have spoken for 5 minute or 10 minutes so that is about the silence all right so silence is that's really very important that because that plays a vital role while speaking when we speak so that uh, silence you need to keep in your mind that you need to be silent for some time our speaking 5 or 10 or 15 minutes okay so now moving to the next slides all right actually the thing is that this chapter is really very important okay so jagan do you want to say something yeah Just uh, i think i love actually silence so you every day i have to yeah every day uh, i have to uh, preparing for the yoga meditation or anything or uh, mm -hmm. one for every day so it is very peaceful uh, to the and uh, that day is going is nice uh, silence is very uh, that's why we understood we all understood yeah. we all understood yeah. again silence about the silence silence you're talking about the meditations get a place hide out and uh, stay silently and think about yourself think about the thing which you like most right and you keep watching one thing which you like most or are near to river right so that's a different thing okay you are using that for your own self here we are talking about the presentation here we are talking about how to speak effectively how to bring glamorous touch how we can how we can make a good impression on people by speaking right so we are talking about these things silence you i think that you have watched the uh, water and some like rocks or stones so that's why you are talking about these things so that was a kind of example so that you can understand right Okay, fine. Beric, hello, Beric. Do you want to say something? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Uh, from my point of view, it means like when, when I'm, for example, when I'm talking with someone, and if I'm only listening to his words or to her words, mm -hmm. and if I'm nodding and agreeing and uh, keep silencing with, you know, when listening to other my opponent or friend, um, that means. Uh, uh, at the end, she or he might think that we had a great conversation. You know? Exactly. Exactly. That's uh, another philosophy. Uh -huh. I do agree with you. You know, when we listen somebody carefully, right? So that another person also become calm. He has trust on you, right? Because you are listening exactly. to him carefully, and you would make mm -hmm. a connection with that guy and you are speaking and your friend is also speaking so two people are speaking together so the voice would get overlapped nobody would understand yeah. right there will not be yeah, any kind of result that that things which are going on nowadays in the news channels like so many people are gathered and they start speaking everybody speaks and ultimately what happened there is no any kind of result there is no any kind of uh, like consequences which which what was the topic and what we were supposed to do and what kind of result we want. So there is nothing like that. Right. And when we are silent, when we listen, then speak, we listen, then speak. Right. So that moment we get some result and both people, they get satisfaction. Right. So that is the meaning of silence. Okay. Right. So there is also one saying speech is silence, uh, speech is or sorry, silence is golden. Speech is silver and silence is golden. Have you heard about this saying, famous saying, speech is silver and silence is golden. Okay. Now, so sentence emphasize. I think that you all have seen these things 
or not maybe you have seen or not so that's okay so here i have written one line uh, one two three four five six seven times right seven times i've written one line right the thing is that why i have written these uh, the same line seven times because we need to speak this line in different way to understand emphasize it's a kind of exercise we can say it's a kind of a small exercise and you can bring this exercise in different kind of sentences right so now repeat the sentence in your mind and each time you say it choose a different word to emphasize it okay now the thing is that here it is written that you can think about in your mind but if you speak it because we speak by our mouth by tongue lips right we use our mouth organs the sound comes through your mouth organ throat right so we need to speak if we speak we can learn we can improve we can polish our sound all right so how we can practice so first i will speak in that way we need to put stress one by one in each word right so first line i told you the he murder the gardener right so i'm putting stress on i in the beginning okay then in the second time you would speak in that way i told you he murdered the gardener I'm, i have put uh, i have put stressed on stress on told then i would put stress on you i told you he murdered the gardener 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 okay so in that way you can practice you can bring any kind of sentences just write down five six seven words sentence and start speaking in different way putting stress in different word so this kind of exercise you can do that by this you can bring ups and downs naturality all right so just do this for 15 or 20 days every day make a bring any sentence and start practicing in that way so here that was the introduction of emphasize now moving to the next slides now that's really very important intonation intonations so intonation what does it mean anybody do you have any idea about intonation ups yeah. and downs ups and downs Our exactly voice. exactly ups and downs right so why we we do why we do ups and downs because we are speaking emotionally right when we are happy or angry or we have different kind of opinion different kind of information so that we speak in different way right so intonations are very important so we, here we have some rules so by which we can understand how we can speak effectively so i've written four points so new information when we have new information when we come to know something which is new for me for us so that moment we put some extra force we put emphasize right we put some stress on noun or adjective or verb or pronoun right so that we can convey our messages effectively so alex is an expert it's a kind of new information right alex is an expert okay the next we have opinion somebody has different kind of opinion about that person is good or bad or neutral or whatever quality he has right bad quality or good quality right so alex seems to be an expert so it's kind of opinion we do about we see, speak about others when we speak about others so that we give opinion the next we have contrast contrast when two sentences they oppose to each other like here you can understand easily john is a christian he visits temples two sentences are con contrasting where right? they are opposing each other okay so i live in india i like america right so two sentences they contrast each other right they are opposing so we need to get some surprise expressions so that other can understand like uh, like uh, i'm a vegetarian i'm a vegetarian i i have many muslim friends muslim friends they 
eat non veg mostly they speak they eat non veg so being a vegetarian and how you cope up with muslim friends right so that's a contrast things like you can say that uh, like uh, i'm a vegetarian i i enjoy uh, like uh, x like that like this so different kind of sentences like i speak hindi i know hindi but i speak english right so that so these sentences are opposing each other so in the next slides we'd be understanding more about these things the next we have other inability inability just met okay so example is that inability when we are not able to do anything when we perform not well so that moment we put some stress or we change our expressions so i can't speak english okay that's kind of that's a different kind of expressions i can't do it right you you can't come here all right so in that way we can speak in that way we can bring some expressions so here we have like gone through these four points about the intonation so it's we we have some more things about now moving to the next slides okay so that was a kind of introduction about the intonation now we have got some rules so all the sentences they have noun pronoun adjective adverb and uh, pronoun right so these things we have so the, according to the sentences we have different kind of rules so we can understand by very uh, small examples high stress you understand what is the meaning of high stress means we are putting some stress we are putting more energy by speaking some word right which are important low stress means we are slow down we are not putting stress we are not giving importance to those words those sentences or those sorry those uh, like uh, lines so few people are sending messages right okay so these things are not important sorry so noun rule the first is noun rule stress on noun so when you see noun in any sentence so it's important to put stress on noun so dogs eats bones okay dogs is a noun and bones is a noun so you need to put stress on dogs and bones right you don't have to put stress on eats okay john is an intelligent all right so john is a noun intelligent it is also a noun is it also adjective is a noun and adjective both so here we are putting stress on john and intelligent all right because we want to convey our message we are talking about john and we are talking about intelligent suppose i am saying dogs and bonds right so you can understand if i don't know english language right and i'm at the place where everybody speaks english so i would say that dogs if i if i have if i have a dog i would say dogs and i would say bonds i so others can understand yeah, so i'm talking about dogs and he is looking for some bonds so that i can feed my dog okay i'm put i'm saying only nouns i'm not using smr helping verb because i don't know grammar i don't know how to speak english i know some nouns by listening people i can understand some words if i say that uh, rice if i am in the shop i would say rice so yeah that person can understand i am i want rice i want food okay if i am in the shop of clothing i would say that uh, i need jeans or coat or shirt right i would say shirt okay so i am not able to speak i need a shirt i want to buy shirt i am not speaking this way i can say that shirt so he can understand yeah he he want i i am here to buy a shirt right so that is the meaning of this uh, rules of noun got it the next we are moving to the next slides pronoun rule stress on verb right so when we have pronoun we don't have any noun so it's important to put stress on verb right so for example we have they use it use is a verb they is a pronoun it is a pronoun so you need to put stress on use they use it okay they use it so that's wrong okay got it they use it he speaks he speaks okay now i'm speaking this sentence he speaks 
okay if there are many people right and only one person like uh if i say that jakir and other people barak azita every so many people are there right so i'm i'm saying to i'm saying about jakir right by pointing him okay and jakir only speaks well rest of the people they don't speak so i would say that he speaks by pointing him he speaks that means he is the only person speaks rest of the people they don't speak got it okay yeah. for conveying our messages we need to put some stress we need to give some more uh, like uh, importance getting is for so, emphasize right exactly that is called emphasize all right yeah. so the actual rule is putting stress on use but in sometimes we can change it according to the situation the next we have adjective rule so whenever we have adjective so we need to put stress on noun only okay so dogs eats hard bones so dogs and bones put you need to put stress on dogs and bones john is an intelligent boy right so intelligent boy so you need to put stress on john and boy so here would be a boy intelligent is written so that's okay so it's a black horse it's a big it's a big business he's an honest merchant all right so for conveying our messages merchant is important business is important horse is important so we can convey or messages to the audience to the people that these words are important here we are here to talking about these things okay so that is the word the adjective rules and next we have which one is this okay that was already uh, that we have already done the next we have adverb rule now adverb rule so when we have adverb and noun together in sentence so we can put stress on noun okay adverb and noun both are in sentence then you will be putting you will be putting stress on noun when you would have adjective and adverb together then adjective is the important so you'd be putting stress on adjective okay then adjective and adverb okay just wait here we have got some uh, adjective and noun okay here we can write noun adjective plus noun i cannot write here adjective plus noun then you would be putting stress on noun okay i have written here uh, to uh, like i have just repeated it so here would be noun only okay you can correct it adjective plus noun so you would be putting stress on noun got it so a few examples are here like he is fairly honest so honesty is a noun sorry it's a adjective so he is fairly so adjective is here and adverb is here so it be putting stress on adjective it's a purely financial okay so purely is a adverb and it's a noun so noun is important noun is important so putting stress on financial then it's a purely big business so adverb is there adjective is there and noun is there so trio are here so it be putting stress on noun so whenever you find noun in any sentence so it's important to put a stress on noun and if two nouns are there so it's important which is more important okay if i am saying that bob lives in delhi okay bob lives in delhi all right and uh, here we have got many people and uh, bob is the person he lives in delhi so i would say in, in this way bobs lives in delhi so bob is only the person who lives in delhi there isn't any other person who lives in delhi okay if i am speaking this in this way bob say bob uh, bob lives in delhi okay so delhi is the place there are many people but only bob he is living in delhi the sentence is same but messages are different if you put stress in noun or a subject the messages would be different and you put stress on object then message would be different got it 
Is that clear? So these were yeah, these these were the few rules of uh, voice modulation. Actually, the chapter is very big. There are so many rules, but the thing is that I have chosen, I have written, uh, which are very important, which you can understand easily. Maybe in the next sessions or coming sessions, uh, I would be bringing some other rules. All right. So that was about the voice modulation. If you have any doubt, any questions, anything which you haven't understood, you can ask me anything. And I have also shared one uh, picture of some topics. Topics are easy. You can discuss those topics in the breakout room. And after a few time, I would send you all in the breakout room and keep all the rules in your mind to speak with uh, ups and downs, voice, bring the rules of voice modulation, intonation, nouns, pronouns while speaking, right? Yes, Alam, Mr. Alam, do you want to say something? Yes, sir. I want to hear again. What is emphasis? Emphasis means emphasis to... miss stress, right? To put some force. Okay. If I speaking, I mean, uh, speaking the name of uh, Eduardo again and again, again and again, right? Like there are 30 people, but I'm time and again speaking the name of Eduardo. Time and again, I'm saying Eduardo is very good. Eduardo speaks well. Eduardo is living in Brazil, right? So I'm putting, I'm emphasizing him. Okay, I'm giving some importance, right? I'm doing some partiality. I'm not paying attention on others. I'm paying attention on Eduardo only. Got it? Yes, sir. Now, now I'm realized. Good, very good. Okay, is there any other question? Everything's clear? That's good. So guys, I'm going to put you in a breakout room, discuss those topics, questions, few questions we have. Okay, yeah, so. I have, a, I have a question, sir. Yes, uh, Arun. Yeah, I'm American accent. I think American accent is different. They are uh, pressured on some, some other worlds. Everything is different. Yeah. Everything is different. Indian accent, American accent, British accent, Japanese accent, Bangladesh accent. Every accent is different. Everything, okay. every area, every, if you, okay, you, you're living in India, okay? If you cross 100 kilometers from your place, okay, you would get changed. The people are speaking different Hindi. Do you feel that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you cross only 100 kilometer, you'd find that people are speaking different Hindi. Okay? Yeah. If you come Kanpur, people okay. would speak that different way. Hindi. Okay, in village, they speak different Hindi. All right, the same thing happened all over the world. In America also, there are many places where people speak good English. They speak slowly, but there are many other places where people speak so fast. They don't, you, they don't pay attention on grammar. Okay? Okay. Right, okay, the same sir. thing happens in Britain also. Everywhere that these things happen. So guys, okay. you would be assigned a breakout room. Please join as fast as you can. Just a minute, let me share the screen. I, I, have, I want to some, say something. You said accent is different. Yes, it's correct. But um, um, emphasize is the same. For example, you want uh, to say, John uh, eats a hamburger. Uh, your emphasize is John do it. Okay, you say John. Uh, January. Uh, mm. right? It, it's uh, all of the uh, accent is the same. You emphasize on noun of John. John is a sandwich, for mm. example. Mm -hmm. John do it. Maybe you you are emphasize on do. John do this. Okay. John, John do this. Does. John does. Sorry, John does. John no, no, does it. No, no, no. John. It is John. Wait, wait. John does it. Okay. When we yeah. speak, when we speak about that, I have told you that if there are more people, eh, okay, and they are not able to perform any work, only one person, John, he's performing. Right. Yeah. So I would say in this way, John does. John does it. How would you understand that? What, John what did, does this John act. does it. John. Okay, I would yeah. speak in that way. John mm -hmm. does it. 
all right if i say that john does it the expression is different like i'm asking there is a question Do, john does it like it's a surprise right it's a surprise that like yeah. how could he he's yeah. uh, he he doesn't have that much of ability to to do this work right john does it okay got it like azita yeah. she speaks yes. she speaks okay got it yeah i got it so by this we can bring expressions if i am saying john does it there is no any message there is no any message you cannot understand what i want to say if i said john does it right john does it then you can understand easily yeah i'm surprised i'm paying attention on john right yes jana do you want to say something yes sir <laughs> i just want to ask uh, one question about the uh, uh, there are seven steps to improve uh, voice modulation but the number four can you explain more little bit about this what the meaning of this uh, meaning i mean this quote create a crowd pleasing speech what the meaning of that thank you pitch, sir pitch p i t c h pitch there are many thing pitch tone intonation stress word stress okay these things are there you are talking about the pitch pitch means how much your sound is shrill got it shrill miss clear the thing is that no sorry, we... no, sorry, sorry. number 4 uh, to improve our voice modulation there is a uh, the number for create a crowd pleasing speech what the meaning of this uh... yeah, yeah yeah i'm 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 explaining it i'm explaining it pitch means how much your sound is shrill right create a crowd that means when we speak how much area is covered by our voice right mm -hmm. getting okay. right yeah, so yeah. girls their voice are shrill but boys their voice are husky okay they do not, their voice does not complete the more area covered by a female voice then mm -hmm. azita speaks huang speaks right so their voices are shrill in high tone they have high pitch but when we speak we cannot speak louder if i am speaking normally right if the same thing is spoken by azita or huang or any other women right so their voice would reach to more people right you can oh. see in the colleges right if some girls are laughing okay everybody start paying attention on them okay that happens okay. because their voices are shrill that covers more area and you can also bring this quality men can also bring this kind of quality by having some exercises all right there are some exercises of voice and sound you can bring that you can improve your quality there are many singles many radio jockey video jockey why their voices are so clear and crystal because they have done something different with their voices they are doing some exercises okay okay thank you right. sir welcome so guys please join your breakout room oh my god two people okay let me close i need to recreate once again just a bit uh, we have got around 24 so so there was some mistakes that's okay so guys did you understand something about voice modulation sir i have a question yes please go ahead sir are you mean by uh, what can you mean by parts of speech parts of speech okay who can who can answer of this question who can answer of this question parts of speech 
yes sir i want to say please please i think uh, part of speech uh, eight part of uh, grammar portion noun pronoun word verb like that okay baljit do yes, you know sir. do you know parts of speech yeah actually i, I know only about uh, grammar part yeah, there are uh, eight part of speech in mm -hmm. grammar portion mm -hmm. so but uh, i don't know about uh, the intonation that they it has uh, eight other parts of speech okay that's okay sir uh, parts of his piece uh, parts of his piece uh, connection uh, to voice modulation uh, just of course i've written noun pronoun adjective rules and you know those who know about parts of speech noun pronoun adjective adverb they can understand voice modulation is say describe that noun pronoun uh, and adjective mm -hmm. complete uh, about them right right good morning everyone my name is kishore i am from mumbai india and what is your topic discussing kishore you are a bit late okay the thing is oh, that sorry. we start zoom meeting 6:30 right and uh, the thing is that we have completed the session of voice modulation today and i have assigned a breakout room please join your breakout room i have written some topics i have shared in whatsapp groups please discuss those topics in breakout room and if you want to join uh, our meeting regularly please join in time 6:30 then you can understand everything okay okay sorry i was okay. hang out with my friends and one so more thing that's, yeah, that's okay that's okay that's okay now the thing is that yeah. uh, like are you the part of our whatsapp groups yeah yeah english globally yes i am a part that's of great. the group that's great now the thing is that you can watch the recording recording i have already recorded the sessions and i would upload it in our youtube channel and i would share it and you can watch everything okay okay definitely you can watch you can understand okay please thank join. you so much you welcome please join your breakout room yeah. so few people were are left to join their breakout room So I was, you know, Huang. I I could not uh, made the breakout room. What happened? Well, well, I just created fourteen rooms. Then I just assigned them automatically. Yes. Right. So because I was talking to the people and I was also creating the breakout rooms. So. i think that everything yeah. is now everything is good so i think just her from his a uh, scarf okay so like because in today's, in today's uh, indonesian uh, women like all indonesian. they all have the same kind of wearing a scarf yeah because we have a unique scarf in like india that. In, in india there are many so women they also I, wear I in the same manner Yeah, in Sri oh. Lanka too. Hello, Sri Lanka. Hello. But she recognized that she's from Indonesia. <laughs> That's surprised. Okay, uh, one day, really? a few days back. Hello, from Indonesia. Hello, where are you from? Sheila, we cannot listen you. Your earpiece that not that's not working. You can take it out. You can take it out from your mobile phone, then insert it again. I think that that moment you, it, it can work. Take it out and insert it again. Then you can speak. Sheila, no, you are not audible. I'm sorry. Yeah, we cannot listen I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry, you are not audible. Sorry. So, Mr. Sasura, everyone, get back to the main room. They are coming. Yes, they are coming. Yeah, I think that all the people have they come. They are not here. Almost people, they have come here. Oh. So now we need to take the picture. Yeah. This is time of taking yes. the pictures. I need a picture. Please turn. Please turn on your camera. Yes. My friends, please turn on the camera if you can. I need okay. a picture for my memorial. Thank you. Okay. 
Great. So everybody is looking smart, especially Daniel. Daniel, give your smile. I will. Yeah, that's good. No, no, that's no, no, good. no. Wait for me, please. Anybody is left? Is your hair? No. Wait for me, please. Yeah, we can wait for you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, she okay, is here. Okay. Oh my God. One participant Hello. is going to join. Ma, say cheese. Break a room. I have time for so many people. We, we should take a long breath. Wow. Beautiful picture. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's really very beautiful. Everybody is beautiful. Yes. Yes. So, guys, how, how was the conversation which you have done in your breakout room? Is there anyone who wants to speak? Uh, we don't have more time. Uh, yes, it was fantastic. Good. Okay, guys, so now the thing Hello, is that sir? is... Yes, Shokat. Please go yes, ahead. Sir. How are you, sir? I'm great. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> Okay, so thank you, sir. Sir, thank Hello, you very sir. much for the giving, uh, giving opportunity uh, you telling uh, of the, your, in your uh, group, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, sir, uh, I am very delighted to have uh, meet you in this the group. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I hope that upcoming days, sir, I will participate in this group and uh, discuss about the topics. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, I think it is really helpful for me. Mm -hmm. Particularly, develop my speaking English. Mm -hmm. Even I, I so, also want to improve, develop my communication skill. That's why I join the meeting. I organize the meeting, and I want you people please join in the correct time so that you can understand topic, questions, and everything. That's really very important. Okay. Yes, sir. And I'm going uh, to share you. Mm -hmm. You want to say something? Uh, I have shared here our English Globally 5 WhatsApp group link. If anybody is not in our WhatsApp English Globally group, please join it. And here I'm sharing the links of our YouTube channels, Facebook pages, Instagram pages. All the links are here. You can copy it and you can join our cluster. Cluster means group. Okay. Sir, uh -huh. sir, uh, how can we got it? We got it. Please, uh, WhatsApp or Instagram group. How, how can we got it? How can we get what group? Which group? A WhatsApp group or anything else? Uh, I have no WhatsApp group. I have a WhatsApp account. You have. You have already been in. Uh, you are already in WhatsApp group. Uh, so that's okay. That's okay if you are in our WhatsApp group. So I have a WhatsApp account. I have no group. Why you are you group, group and why are you group? Okay, Ariful, you can share here your number in chat box. Just write down here your number. We'll add you. Okay, here. Can you share your my, number? My cell, phone, my cell phone number. Your your WhatsApp number. Okay, yeah. okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. You can okay, share. Okay. You can thank share. You can share your number. Can you speak your number? Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, I share. Uh, but please, I uh, give give me some. some sir, can minutes. I share something you? Yes, please. Hello, Shashira, sir. Yes. Say. Hello. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Say. Sir, uh, actually, um, Hello. Yeah, I'm from Bangladesh and I have a problem. I, uh, we are every day uh, join a class. Your voice is breaking. I cannot understand. Right. The thing is that if you people have any question, any queries, you can but, uh, send your you can send your messages in uh, whatsapp groups 
Vipra, your voice is uh, voice is breaking, Mahindi. I cannot understand you. We are, right. Zoom, we are also uh, use Zoom, but uh, here just uh, fourteen minutes. Uh, you can fourteen share. minutes in finish, sir. I, I tell fourteen minutes in finished. Uh, our uh, Zoom. Uh, okay. Now the thing is that if you have any questions, any queries, please send in WhatsApp groups. I'll answer, or somebody else would answer. Okay, guys. So thank you for joining. Thanks a lot, and that was a wonderful time with you all. People have a nice time, Sorry, guys. and uh, you can okay. unmute yourself. You can unmute yourself, okay. and you can say goodbye Sashiraj. to all. Okay, Sashiraj, thank you so much for. Most thank welcome. you so much for. Thank meeting. you, Sashiraj. Sir. Most welcome. Yeah. You're most Bye. welcome. So I'm going to end the meeting. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Thank you, Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Again, Thank you. 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 Thank you.